So it's, it's Sunday, uh, January 9th, and these uh, aft bulkhead panels, um, whatever you want to call them for the cabin, are in place. Uh, and, and they've been taped in and um, sealed with uh, carbon fiber and epoxy all the way around. And it's looking pretty good. It's nice and nice and strong. Um, you might notice that I've got there's a couple of holes, one there and one there. So um, this edge here is the same height as the center board, which ends up being four and a half inches above the um, seats. And I originally raised the seats like three and a half inches above the normal height of those. So that's why it's you know it look, might look different than other boats of the same design. Um, and so I've got two two inch holes in here because my thought was if in the case I take a large wave or what for whatever reason water gets up into the um, cabin area I do want to be able to get it out but at the same time I hate the idea of like you know a gap or a hole and little tiny drips of water getting through and you know wetting mattress pads and sleeping bags and things like that that's just not fun so um, what I did was I basically drilled a two inch hole one inch above the height of the deck. So if it's just raining a little bit, um, rainwater hitting on here, it should basically flow and end up down in the cockpit well um, down in here. But if for whatever reason I ended up with a big wave and it went in, um, the problem would be that to pump that out or get that water out of there, I'd have to go forward, which means that not only the weight of the water, but my weight would also be shifting forward and I'd end up having to pump it all out or mop it out or scoop it out of this little tiny forward compartment way up in there underneath the whole cabin roof and all that. And that would absolutely not be fun. So I thought, okay, if I put a couple of holes there, then what I can do is just shift my weight back and most of the water should drain out, come out of those holes and then down into the um, cockpit. Uh, well, and so then what I did was I made, when I made these um, pieces up, I made like a clip essentially that I um, molded on the top of here. So that's this, this piece of this here. I made the clip so that it can fit down over the top of the hole and I still have to finish shaping this around here and and um, that sort of thing and finishing off the surface so it's nice and nice and flush because um, it's you know a little rough with all the work I've done to it but um, once that's all nice and flush then this clip will fold slide over the top um, and what I basically did so I made the this part the inner part of this clip I cast it over the top of this piece here and then I put a couple of layers of carbon fiber over the top of it and, and basically held it down um, like this so that it would end up being more this sort of shape. So it's got a little bit of spring tension built into it. So this way it just slides in like that. So um, most of the time this will be down fully in place over this. Nice smooth surfaces meeting against each other. So um, even if there's a lot of water in here, you know, up to like this level, it shouldn't get into um, the cabin area, certainly not very fast. Um, and then if I need to drain it, I just be able to pull this thing out, um, pull these things up and shift my weight back, drain the water out, put those, um, you know, into the cockpit. At some point it may have a self baler or something down here. I haven't really decided on that part yet. Um, but either pump it out of the cockpit well or um, open up the self baler and let it run out down to the level of the water line. So that's the idea over there. Um, next, what I'm probably gonna be doing, I've got a few little tiny things I need to patch up with some epoxy on the inside here. Uh, let's see if I can find some of them. You know, so little little holes and imperfections like that. There's a couple of old empty screw holes. Um, I have to remember where they are. Um, maybe over there on the other side that I just have to fill in. Um, little things like this that I just want to fill fill in a little bit and smooth off little bits like that. And then once all that's done um, and that's cured, I'm going to paint the whole inside of this, leaving a little edge around the um, 
top of the cabin for uh, carbon fiber tape once the cabin top is put on. But you know, the rest of this would be a lot easier to paint now. Um, and the same thing with the um, bottom of the roof, basically paint that whole um, part there white, um, just leaving a little bit um, for the tape, um, carbon fiber tape to go around this edge to when that gets attached. Um, so yeah, so pretty soon I'll be doing some, um, I'm going to fill that in today, um, maybe do some painting. Uh, and then really the next thing at, after that is the um, cockpit combings. So I put these three pieces of wood. You can see there's another one back there behind the sander. So I just lightly um, tabbed these things in with some epoxy um, and the same on the other side. And the idea is that I needed something to put um, the cockpit combing um, material onto. So that's going to be made out of this piece of one inch thick foam. I'll use the joggle stick, um, put a batten across here and use the joggle stick to make the um, template of this um, piece. It'll be sticking up about four inches or so above the, above the deck. And um, then what I'll do is I'll um, clamp that piece of foam, um, bend it into the approximately right curve um, on the workbench and cover the um, what will be the outside of it with um, carbon fiber while it's clamped in the curve shape because um, I won't be able to put that on after once I've got this um, on here. So that needs to go on first. I'll put a couple layers of that on, clamp that on, and then, um, or clamp that um, as a, on the uh, workbench so that it's got the right curve. And then once that's secured, that'll be able to go in here and I'll put a few wedges, uh, temporarily screw a few wedges in this cockpit floor to hold that out and hold it on and, and I'll come up with something to hold it up at the top and then tape it here and, and down there and then that'll you know cover the whole thing with uh, carbon fiber and that'll be all set. Um, but I really like having these um, rope attachments that I've cut, um, put a hole through the frames to, to basically steady the boat and be able to lift it. So I'm gonna make up the cockpit combing pieces and have them all ready to go, uh, but I'm not actually gonna put them on yet because the other thing I still have to do is paint the bottom of the boat um, and do the bootstripe. So I'm gonna be doing, um, making these pieces up just so that they're done, I have everything done for up here, um, and then uh, lift the boat up before I put the centerboard in. Um, this will be a lot easier without the 140 pound um, steel centerboard that I'm putting in here. So uh, basically just, you know, lift this thing up, paint the bottom. Uh, once that's done, then put it back down, put the centerboard in, and then start finishing the rest of this and finishing the rest of the boat at that point. That's the overall plan and that's what I've been up to.